We're here with Chris from Alliance Science and Technology. We noticed uh, this uh, virtual ship uh, training technology. Chris, tell us a little bit about what we're seeing on the screen here. Okay, this is the virtual maintenance performance aid. It was actually built for uh, the Office of Naval Research, mm -hmm. and it was made to fill a training gap for the readiness control officers, uh, specifically at SWAS and the uh, Littoral Combat Ship Training Squadron out in San Diego. We've currently got uh, 20 fielded training devices out in uh, Rhode Island and 10 out in San Diego, and we uh, are one of a few companies that are doing high fidelity interior ship uh, recreations for training. Uh, this particular device is made to train the readiness control officer so he can monitor his engineering plant states and coordinate with the crew for damage control, force protection, and other uh, training devices. So you're able to, to simulate a scenario of a fire or a flood or something like that? That's correct. We, as you can see on the screen, we've got uh, fire and some flooding going on and actually a, uh, a hydraulic leak on the lower left-hand side there. And, uh, but they train the readiness control officers to use those cameras to view different aspects of the ship so they can they can uh, have a visual representation without having to, tr to uh, traverse the ship to go see the space. So people that are using this uh, technology, what's kind of what's their response been and how is it helping them? Uh, the response has been awesome. It's actually growing rapidly for uh, the Navy. Uh, they're using it now to uh, do a lot of instructional or uh, interactive multimedia instruction. Uh, and placing that on top of uh, the virtual environment. So the, the response has been tremendous. People that can't make it to the show, Chris, where should they go online to uh, find out more about Alliant? www.alliancescience.com.